Um, so today is Sunday and it is about almost 11.30 and mom and I are just finishing up getting ready while well, I'm done. She's finishing up getting ready. So we're in the car now and we actually decided not to go to Cracker Barrel. So that whole spiel about explaining what Cracker Barrel is was irrelevant. Um, we're actually going to a place that's local and it's called Wildberry and hopefully we can get in because it seems it's usually really busy especially on Sundays um, because all the after church crews uh, the after church that makes sense um, <laughs> sometimes I feel like when I'm vlogging I don't make any sense sometimes you don't <laughs> um, so yeah we're going to Wildberry it's just a really really good I haven't been there in years probably since before we moved and we've been in Texas for seven years, so it's it's been a long time. But as far as I can remember it, it's really, really good breakfast food. And they have really, really good fruit. <laughs> really, really good coffee. Yeah. Um, it ain't your mama's IHOP. <laughs> Just saying. Um, even though IHOP is delicious. Um, yeah, so we're going to go to Wildberry. Hopefully we can get in and hopefully it's not crazy busy. Okay, change of plans again. Wildberry was far too busy and it was like a wait of 45 minutes to an hour and I'm too hungry for that. So we're going to head towards my uncle's house, which is roughly what, an hour? Yeah. Um, and we'll see. And we'll see where, where we end up. I'm very excited now because my mom was searching through um, what Yelp. Yelp. Um, and she found that Walker Brothers Pancake House is on the way to uh, where we're going. Now, I've never actually been there, but if you've seen Mean Girls as many times as I have, you know it's referenced in that movie. And because of, because Mean Girls is set in Evanston, which isn't that far away. I have been to one, it's just been a long time. Yeah, but it's referenced in Mean Girls. That's really all the only reason I'm excited. It's good food. <laughs> um, so, and we both have a hankering for, for breakfast. But we're not going food. to the one that was in Mean Girls. It's not in Mean Girls. It's just referenced well, to me. She, because she wins Spring Fling Queen, she wins two, uh, and then somebody steals it, um, circuit tickets to Walker Brothers Pancake House. <laughs> the only one I've ever been to is in Highland Park, which is very nice. And the decor and the menu and everything is, it's, it's still a breakfast place, but it's, it's really nice. This one is, um, is I've never been there. It's the same name, but it's a different um, town. So. so, yeah. So we shall see. Yeah. Get my whole breakfast in the shot. <laughs> this is an apple cinnamon pancake. It's huge. What did mom get? What did you get, mom? Um, it's a crab eggs benedict. Bacon and latkes. Latkes. Latkes potato pancakes. Just got back into the car now. Um, breakfast was amazing. I feel like I'm in a sugar coma. That little clip that I took in the restaurant, I don't know if it was, um, if you could see how truly massive my breakfast was um yeah it was crazy and there was so much sugar i didn't even eat the entire thing and usually i'm the type of person that clears my plate so it was very odd but the weirdest thing in this restaurant experience was that um when we were when i was waiting in line for a table um, when I was waiting in line for a table, there's this older couple in front of me and the woman was like commenting on my hair and mom and I have this running joke now, um, a running tally of how many people compliment my hair yesterday. It got up to like 11. Yeah. Um, and so this woman was like asking me if it was a wig and was convinced that my hair was a wig and she's like you can dye your hair these colors and it was she was very old <laughs> yeah it was it was very strange um so, yeah 
thought I had to tell you. So that. I'm here in the theater with my mom and my uncle, and we are watching my cousin. Well, not currently; it's intermission, or as my uncle calls it, halftime. <laughs> um, and it was the first half was so adorable. Um, I can't even like Max is so sweet. Like, I can't wait to see him after the show because I need to give him a great big hug. It's genetics. It's <laughs> genetics. <laughs> <laughs> so, I will see you guys after the show. Bye! So, we just came out of the auditorium from seeing my cousin in Beauty and the Beast. And he was a fish man and a knife. And he was a knife in our favorite scene. I don't know if I said that, which is be our guest. And we were having lots of fun and he's so adorable. I will answer a picture probably before this clip and he was so sweet and uh, now we're going over if my mother will actually put the car in gear well, I have to figure out where I'm going we're going over to my uncle's house for dinner and I probably won't film it all there I don't know maybe I will um, but yeah um, that's pretty much it I had so much fun I mean the quality of the production let's just be real here it wasn't like fantastic but it was really, really, really cute. And mom and I had a lot of fun. So that was a we fun night. coming back from my uncle's house. And we're actually about to pass the hospital that I was born in. Which is kind of trippy. Seeing as I turned 20 in like three weeks. Um, yeah, that's really weird. I mean, it's not the same exact hospital. It's named something different. Well, it's the same exact building hospital. It's just a, under a different name now, different management. It's been 20 years. What can you do? <laughs> I just I don't know why. I just had to tell you guys that. Okay, so I'm back in my hotel now. I've already taken off my makeup and in my pajamas and everything like that. So I'm just going to watch YouTube videos and put this video up and then fall asleep. Um, no idea what's happening tomorrow. Um... Tomorrow is really up in the air because Wednesday my dad comes in, Thursday my brother and his wife and his kids come in, Friday is the rehearsal dinner, and then Saturday is the wedding. So tomorrow is like the only day that it is completely up in the air, but we'll see where the day takes us. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it's a little disorganized, but we, yeah, we didn't really know what to do, so... Yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.